Hey everyone, my name is Jay and welcome back to Notion Lab. I've had my K40 laser for a few months and it's been a lot of fun. At the average price point of $350, it's the most affordable means of getting into CO2 lasers, but it's not without its flaws. With a few modifications and upgrades, I plan on making it the best machine that it can be. First upgrade is the potentiometer. Some machines have a digital panel that makes fine adjustments to the laser's power output really easy, and some have a analog potentiometer with no concrete way of knowing your power levels. After some research, I found a great replacement. It's a 10 turn pot made by Uxel, and it's packed with features such as a gauge, 1% increment of power levels, and a locking lever to prevent movement after your levels are set. Removing the old pot is straightforward by desoldering the three wires and removing the top cap. I did it off camera, but it's a good idea to tend the pads of the new one beforehand. It makes soldering the wires much easier. The pads on the new pot is at a difficult angle, so it has to be soldered before installation. What worked best for me is holding the pot upside down and aligning the wires with the contact pads with one hand. With the pot upside down, solder the red wire to the pad closest to you, green wire to the middle, and blue wire to the last pad. Now, fit the potentiometer in. It should fit, but may require a bit of pressure to fit flush. Installing the cap is very specific. There is a small notch on the cap that works with a black spacer to prevent it from spinning any further when it reaches 100%. First, I decided to like the placement of the number readout in this orientation, which puts the black spacer roughly in this location. The smooth washer goes on next, then the locking washer, followed by the nut. When tightening everything together, the black washer did spin, but I roughly placed it back in its original location. I used an 11mm wrench to secure the nut. Finally, the cap can be installed by aligning the notch to the black spacer. There is a small grub screw on the cap to secure it to the shaft of the potentiometer with a 1.5mm allen wrench. I do plan on making a separate test video along with a few other mods. So stay tuned and make sure you subscribe for future videos. That's all for now. Thank you for watching and until next time, later days.